Greetings, everyone. It's a great pleasure to present our paper entitled Creative Cobalt Modeling Using Evolution Principle in Cyber World 2020 Conference. This is the outline of my presentation. A cobalt is a structural piece jutting from a wall to carry a supreme carbon weight. It's a typical category of decorative architectural geometry, which has clear structure and aesthetic design. Note that there are tons of models available in online warehouse, which are well designed in varying shape and styles. The question is, how to make use of the existing models and generate a group of new Cobell models from given examples. This is a shape design problem, and the field of shape design is fast evolving. Well, CD2s have become ubiquitous to facilitate traditional design and manufacturing. Designers could use professional softwares, such as Rhino and 3D Max, to direct mm. manipulate on points, edge, or faces. It's time-consuming to design and explore the shape of Cobell models using CD2s. This thus raises issues of time, cost efficiency, human resource, and most critically, the creativity essential for designing new cobalts. Due to rapid development of mathematics, computing, data analysis, and machine learning, and availability of a large number of existing 3D models, Recent research on geometric modeling is shifting from conventional direct manipulation towards high-level explorative modeling and example-driven synthesis. Generative design provides a way for exploration, inspiration, and creativity in modeling. When we say creative Cobell modeling, it's hard to define it mathematically Different people have different understanding. The generated model should be more of the same as the examples and bring inspirations to the designer. For creative modeling, evolutionary algorithms, EAs, inspired by biological evolution in nature, could mimic producing surprise by the mutation, crossover, and selection operators. In EAs, we need to encode the contents and, the, and design appropriate mutation and crossover operators to allow the contents to evolve and produce surprises. Controllability is designed by the selection process, where a fitness function determines whether a new creation is allowed to survive to further produce offsprings. So, what kind of thing is considered as creative Cobell modeling? It's difficult to f define it mathematically. The understanding depends on individual. It's quite subjective. We convey two aspects of meaning, more of the same and surprising. We want the generated models are more of the same as the examples or specifications, particularly retaining architectural structure and the geometry, ge uh, geometry styles of cobalts. Meanwhile, we want the generate models to contain elements of surprises or unexpectedness, which brings inspirations to the designer. These two goals actually conflict with each other, which thus imposes challenges. So how can we achieve creative cobalt modeling? Conventional modeling tools such as Rhino or 3D Max cannot. This kind of tools really depends on designer. So our work tries to create a tool which help user to easily come up with these creative design uh, ideas. The major contribution of the paper lies in a new framework for creative Cobell modeling and its underlying evolution-based generation algorithm. Our problem can be described as follows. Given a set of 3D Cobell models represent in a common format, the user can browse these models and specify one. 
and then the algorithm will automatically generate a group of new Cobell models that are more of the same and surprising to the specified one. We propose a framework to realize creative Cobell modeling, which combines geometric modeling with machine learning techniques and example-based modeling. Our three-step framework consists of model processing, offline learning, and online generation, as illustrated in this figure. First, at the very beginning, we can collect Cobell models designed by professional. After model decomposition and feature extraction, we carefully construct high-level representations for Cobell models. During offline learning, we design two variational autoencoder models for learning features of models. In online generation stage, we design a generation algorithm involving evolution principle and feature-driven deformation for generating new Cobell models. In the following slides, I will introduce the methodology in detail. For model processing, currently we bought 125 Cobell models from online 3D model warehouse as initial model collection. All these models are triangular meshes in OBG format, designed by industry designer. To facilitate creative modeling, we extract structure and feature information. According to the characteristic of Cobell model, we decompose a Cobell into three semantically meaningful parts, main body, decoration, and base. The main body represents the overall shape of the Cobell. The decoration accounts for the geometric detail. The base usually has very regular shape and is in touch with the supporting structures such as wall or ceiling. For a main body, its front face corresponding to the decoration part and is usually curved. This curved shape represents the overall feature of main body. We fit a planar cubicle baseline curve to the profile of this curved shape. The starting and end points are specified as a guideline for setting decorations on. Similarly, for decoration, we can also construct a cubicle baseline curve for the side. For a base part, the feature is captured respectively as width, height, and depth value of the model. Along with the reference point as shown in this figure, the reference point serves as a pilot point for the main body to align onto the base. In offline learning stage, we train low-dimensional vectors to represent features. For this purpose, we choose variational autoencoder, VAE. It is a generative model that allows machines to learn the representation of data and generate new data instances in good quality. We propose two VAE models. The first one is 2D curve VAE which takes all the feature curves of main body components as input. The latent space vector from the encoder to decoder is learned. New curves could be effect effectively generated by sampling in the latent space. The second one is 3D voxel VAE, which takes models of decoration components as input. After VAE training, we learn a latent space to compress the representation of decoration. For 2D curve VAE, we first perform data augmentation to increase the diversity of main-body feature curves. The whole set of produced feature curves is then passed into a VAE model. Our 2D curve VAE tries to obtain the encoding and the decoding of the data by minimizing the following loss. With a trained 2D curve VAE on the dataset of nearly 3,000 main-body feature curves, the latent space vector from the encoder to the decoder that best represent the feature curve is learned. We choose 3 at the latent dimensions. The Gaussian distribution makes it effective to generate new curves by sampling in the latent space. 3D voxel VAE is to compress the representation of decoration. There is an additional voxel conversion layer before the real dataset is passed into encoder. The meshes of all decorations 
are first transformed into 3D voxel grids in the dimension of 128 by 128 by 16. The procedure is similar to 2D curve VAE, where we specify 32 as the number of latent dimensions to encode the feature of the decoration. Within the latent space, similar decoration will have a small Euclidean distance and the less similar decoration will have a big Euclidean distance as shown in this figure. The online generation stage involves illusion and deformation. We first consider the Cobell model synthesis problem. Given a main body and a new feature curve, how to deform the main body? Specifying a decoration model, how to deform it to attach onto the main body? And how about attaching a base? We use direct manipulation of freeform deformation with sampling points on the feature curves as manipulating points to solve this problem. This video illustrates how to manually synthesize a new Cobell model. We construct a 2D FFD region shown in the light blue control lattice specified by the bounding box of the side slice of the main body. The deformation is driven by deforming sample points on the original feature curve in purple color to points on the target feature curve in blue color. To deform a decoration, the mesh and its feature curve are first scaled and translate to match the starting and end point on the feature curve of the main body. A similar direct manipulation FFD method is applied to the decoration part. A base model is simply scaled and translate according to its reference point and the dimensional value. After the deformation are performed, all the parts are ready to be combined by a union operation. Given the required input, a new Cobell model can be generated automatically. Then we propose an evolution algorithm to realize automatic creative modeling. With all the design elements in the dataset and two VAE models, we can encode each Cobell model by a gene vector structure DNA, which include index of main body, decoration, and the base model, feature curve value in its latent space, parameters to control the starting and end points to attaching decoration. The outline of the algorithm is shown in this figure. Given a user-selected model MS, a DNA is generated. Then we select the best fit candidates by select parents operation. By evolution, a set of new gene vector is produced by crossover and mutation operations. For each new gene vector, we use the deformation method in the last slides to automatically synthesize a Cobell model. The generated Cobell model are evaluated by function eval population, and only the model in good geometric and physical quality survive. The geometry quality is evaluated by checking the existence of self-intersection, and the physical quality is evaluated by checking the centroid of se section of main body against the center of the whole model. The evolution continues until the number of generation models reaches the target threshold or the user suspend the process. In the following slides, I will show some experimental results to evaluate the proposed techniques. We first evaluate the 2D curve VAE model. The left figure shows 64 feature curves of main bodies in the original data set. The red figure shows 64 new feature curves generated with feature curve generator learned by VAE. It can be seen that the feature curve from the red figure have similar shape and curvature as the original feature curves. We then evaluate 3D voxel VAE. The output is a latent feature space L, where 
each decoration is encoded into a 32D vector. The inquiry is made based on the Euclidean distance between the vectors in L. This is uh, the input query of a leaf-shaped decoration. Here are the results of top five similar decoration models returned based on the query. And then the top five dissimilar models. The results demonstrate that the compressed low dimensional latent space L can represent the decorations well. Experimentation are conducted on the deformation of decoration components and also on how the adjustment of the position affects the result. In the first figure, the decoration mounted on the main body with different ending points can still generate aesthetically pleasing models. However, not all the positions are suitable for the decorations to be mounted on, and further selection is required during the evolution procedure to fine-tune the parameters. The second figure shows the result on how models are generated with respect to the recorded position. Some of them show overlaps between the decoration and the main body component. Fine-tuning is to performed to prevent self-intersections. The third figure shows some result of combining a decoration with different main bodies using proper parameter setting. Notice that the location of the starting and end points on the main body automatically affect the size of the decoration on the output model. This experiment on evolution shows a group of models generated by our method according to a user input model. As you can see, most of the models generated have the same main body as the input model, but vary in sh curvature and shape. Well, about 22% of the models randomly choose other main bodies in the data set. Most of the generated decoration part looks in a similar style, but have different details of geometry texture. The starting and end points for the mounting of the decorations vary from model to model. The base part of the models are randomly selected for a crossover. This experiment demonstrates that our developed tool can achieve modeling creativity to a certain extent. In conclusion, we developed a creative Cobell modeling tool. The underlying techniques of which are geometric modeling and machine learning. In particular, VAE models are developed to learn the latent representation of feature curves and the decoration shape. Evolution principle is used to develop a modeling algorithm that evolves to produce new offsprings. And the feature-driven deformation is developed to realize the creation of new Cobell models. The experiments demonstrate that the developed method and tool are able to produce new models with creativity, and also showcase the success of the use of classic geometric modeling and advantaged machine learning techniques in Cobell modeling. Our future work will further optimize the algorithm design and extend the method to other decorative architectural geometry, such as panel and mounting model. That's all for my presentation. Thank you.